All right, so I don't typically use emojis all that much, but we're actually seeing this new, what they're calling emoji draft, where they, I guess they kind of put out uh, a bid or kind of an uh, several different emojis that they're looking at adding to different phone platforms and basically seeing if they get approved. So this is by, uh, this is the em Emojipedia, I guess is the one that's doing this right now. So they're putting out this, these emojis, these new emojis, and you can see a picture of this if you're listening on audio. What you're seeing on there is a pregnant man. It's basically what it looks like. Now I could assume it's a beer belly, but I doubt that's what it is, because because and that's what they're saying in their statement is that it's not what it is. So uh, in their own blog, they said because there is already a pregnant lady emoji, the additional emojis would include a pregnant man and pregnant person. Notice how they're taking away the the gender of that, basically like this this anonymous kind of I don't know they're a man or a woman kind of person thing. Uh, but it says the new emojis recognize that pregnancy is possible for some transgender men and non-binary people. Okay, here we go. So, like I said, this is, uh, you could assume it's a beer belly one. Maybe some people will use it that way, but that's not what it is. Um, they're clearly trying to push for this uh, in the phones and everything else. And although this is a small thing, I mean, it's just an emoji. It's not like they're, you know, forcing you to type with it or something like that. It speaks to the larger issues going on in culture right now. It speaks to what what is happening uh, across the United States where it's little by little by little by little. They add in new things, uh, trying to affirm these transgender ideologies. And then over time, before you know it, everyone's doing it. It's a normal part of society. And it starts with things like this. It starts with small things that you don't think too much of that really starts to add to this. Now, keep in mind, look, just think about this. Who is this for? Who is this actually legitimately for? Who is asking for this? Because I could assume there's probably about 0.0001% of the population that would legitimately be asking for them to put an emoji on there and said, oh man, I, I just wish they had a pregnant man looking emoji on there because that fits me. There's hardly anybody in this society that does this, but yet they have, they're changing everything to, to go with this. Don't make the left fool you. There are very, very, very few people out there, even as radical as they've been with this, that actually believe in this stuff, that actually are this way, that would actually use it for this purpose. Very few. But yet that's the way that they're pushing this. They're acting as if there's this vast majority of people that have been arguing for this for the longest period of time. That's not true. It just isn't. And the thing is, is that you have them using these different colors of people. They've been doing that for a while as well. I typically just use the yellow one because I don't feel like dealing with it. I just, it's just weird for me trying to pick a shade and everything else like that. I'm like, I don't, I really don't care. I'm just trying to convey an emotion. It's, it's an emoji. That's all it is. It's, a, it's not a, it's an inanimate type of object. It's not something that uh, has any legitimate weight to it. I don't need it to identify with me for me to feel good about using it. It's, it's the meaning behind it that matters. And that's all I use. Um, but that's the way that they have tried to push this, you know, but the one same people that want this are the same ones that are, that are talking about digital blackface that are saying, no, oh, you can't use this GIF that has a black person in it. If you're not black, because that's actually racist. And it's like a digital blackface It's the same people that kind of support this stuff like that. Never made any sense to me whatsoever. You just watched a clip from the William Hall show. Please remember to like, share and subscribe.